Good afternoon everybody, I'm Zifu. How are you all going today? Today I'll be teaching you all how to make a magazine cover in Paint.net. So it's quite simple and it can vary depending on if you want to actually make one or just one for the looks of it. So you want to start off by making a new one or editing the image which you can go under image, resize. Now I'm working with 700 by 800 pixels just because that's a nice kind of um area to work with. You don't get things too narrow or too wide and images fit quite well in this area. And you can blow them up or shrink them down if you want. So new um new layer but uh, uh this button button bottom corner and then edit paste. So pick a picture you want and paste it in. So make sure if it asks to expand just click keep and then you can shrink it down to what you want. So I've got a beautiful Dassault uh Raphael? Raphael, I think it is. Very beautiful plane. So because this doesn't quite fit, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to copy it in a new layer, which you click yet again down here, the one with the green arrow. Now I'm going to click Control V. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly move it over and drag it down. This is going to invert it. So I've inverted it and now I can pull it... Oh, Make sure to hold shift while you're doing this as well so it keeps the correct um, ratio. And then I'm going to put it under here. And actually if I can match it, that'll be even better. So that's what it looks like. Not too bad. Not amazing. Now I've kind of intentionally left this part here. So I'm going to merge this lay down first so they're parts. So merge lay down, middle button. Now make sure you've got your select tool. Just run it over just a bit by each and click delete. That should delete it, but I've already had a bit missing there. So I'm going to get this corner and bring it down again. Not too far. <laughs> if you're doing this and you're actually doing this, you might want to make it a bit more professional. But I'm just going to do it quick by doing this. And now I've got a nice little border. Now I'm just going to click add new layer and get um, a barcode quickly. So I'll be right back with that. So we're back in paint. Now edit, paste that in. Remember, keep canvas size. Now I'm gonna shift, hold shift, keep the ratio and bring it down. Put it in the corner, however big you want it to be. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. And that should be aligned. Yes, perfect. Right, now we're gonna get into the text things. So I've actually got a magazine next to me that I'm looking at for a bit of a reference. So what I'm going to do is just click text. Now find a text that you want. I'm going to do chosen's. Make it a bit larger and call it... Uh, how about aviation for the... Aviation. So I'm going to move that down slightly. I'm actually going to put it on a slant. That makes it just a bit cooler to look at. So 108 is what I usually work with. Put it just above the canopy, I reckon. Actually, a bit more to the side. Yeah, about in the middle. So a cool effect you can do is I'm actually going to put this down to show you this. So I'm going to put it just above the aircraft. So what... Uh, sorry, before I do that, I'm actually going to add in a bit smaller. Same kind of writing, though. And call it... Um, not Australian Aviation, that's actually one. How about... Oz Aviation, so Oz Aviation, that's all I need to do. Now, this cool effect that I want to show you, it involves going back down to, uh, actually no, you can do it, keeping the text layer, and what you want to do is just where the, um, the text is meant to be, rub it out, just be very careful, and this might not work the best with the N I've got. But just rub the white out to where your text is. So it reveals the plane and it looks like a bit of kind of 3D effects going on. So that's gone. Just going to quickly do these other ones here. Zoom in. And get that erased. Alright, there we go. That's that side. Now it comes back over here to the end. So what I think I might do is I don't 
quite want to remove all let's see actually what it will look like if I have all of it gone. So I'm gonna just largen that up and go along where the <coughs> where the vertical stabilizer will be. Well, it doesn't look amazing that N. I might keep the N actually. And that's got it okay, yeah. That works well. I'm showing you the 3D effect there and keeping it normal there. So I'm also gonna rub that out. That looks like it's just kind of wrapping around if I do it up here. So I got a bit of 3D effect in both places. So it stops about there. So just go across like that. Okay. There you go. Now I'm gonna get a smaller brush and just kind of fix that up. There we go. So that looks like it's popping out as well. So it's just got a bit of extra depth in it. Now, so we're gonna need some kind of, not headline, but a subheadline up here. So ne new layer. Now I'm gonna put, how about, um, okay, I've got an idea. I'm gonna put this in normal, but in chosens again. I'm gonna select a nice dark red. That's about what I want, let's see what that, no. Oh, I'm thinking a bit more of a kind of, not quite that. Just play around with the colors until you find something what you something that you like. So I think I'm gonna do something like that, maybe slightly brighter. Yeah, there we go. That looks nice. So French, um, French Air Force. For some, um, how about let's make something up? Reveals new aircraft. Now I'm gonna change it to another color. That's just kind of to grab the person's attention and make it look nice. Re oh. Made to change it to what? Reveals. Um, reveals new aircraft to public. So that goes there just as if it was another space. And that just adds something nice to it. So down here, how about um let's do something else. So I'm gonna get an even bigger chosen, so I'm gonna go to Click that and make it to 192. So, oh, haven't selected. This happens a few times if you see that. Left click on selection, draw a box, and then cancel it out. Raf A L L. Raf L. Let me just double check on the spelling of that and I'll be back. Okay, it's actually Rafael. Rafael. So, R A F A L E. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that down maybe to 144. Actually, I'm gonna do a custom, so 160. Now I'm not gonna have that. Um, actually, no, I might have it 144, and I'm gonna have that in that nice red I used before. So I'm gonna go back down, click the color picker, which can be by the shortcut K. Click that, and I've got that nice red color. Oh, can I make it solid? There we go. So down here, just gonna, oops, forgot about doing that. So delete that. Raphael. It's 140. Just gonna redo the text until it's nice. Maybe a bit smaller. 96, I reckon. So we can put that there. And then um, something about the aircraft. So I'm gonna put that back down to 48, maybe. Bring that to white and dasalt. Dasalt. Um, new competitor to the F5. Okay. So this is looking quite nice. Got a bit going. So, Oz Aviation, French Air Force reveals new aircraft to the public. Rafael. That's what reveals new competitor to the F-35. So I reckon that looks quite nice. Got a bit of 3D stuff going that you can do. And remember you don't have to do everything, but this is just roughly kind of what you do. And you can add some other things like um, issues and uh, other kind of stuff like dates. So by if you wanted to do that, you could just go here, make it smaller. So it's like 22. Um, what is it? 
number dot one issue. This is our first issue, why not? Make it a bit small, 22. Gonna go with 12, number one issue. August, oh, August 2017. There we go, just put that near above that. And you got something there. And prices, I guess you could go down here, so how about um, ten dollars? Sure, why not? So dollar ten. How about ten ninety nine? That makes it look nice. There we go. So put that in the corner there. And now you have a nice kind of aircraft mag uh, magazine or any magazine of your type that you want to do. So following those steps, you can pretty much make any kind of magazine cover you want that will look nice to you. So thank you for watching. Don't uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Also, don't be afraid to comment about anything you need help with. I'm always there to help, and I'll always reply. See you in the next one.